couple years ago. I had gotten so messed up that I just was starting to bawl my eyes out. I could feel my body's just not happy and I could feel my mental state just declining. I knew I needed to pray. I knew I needed to channel this like energy somewhere else. I was like, God, I, I really don't know what I'm doing right now. Like, honestly, I'm just kind of taking day by day. And whatever you need me to do, God, just make it clear. Like, I just wanted clarity. My name is Christian Palmer, and this is my back to life story. I grew up in a very Christian home. My mom was always surrounded by very Christian people, and we would do the normal thing um, a Christian family would do. I think over time though, I started to recognize with my dad and her that there was a separation beginning. It got to the point where they did end up getting a divorce when I was about 16. I think I kind of just had like a rebellious stage of my life. I started to, you know, take advantage of that freedom and started staying at friends' houses, just kind of roaming around doing my own thing. And that led me to get really involved with drinking and just different drugs. And that led to a couple really toxic relationships with women. And to me, I was just trying to suppress all of these feelings with my parents' divorce, you know, and just was totally misdirected. I, I had no, you know, way of figuring out how to do this thing on my own. I remember the last person I dated, we broke up and it was so bad of a relationship that I ended up just wanting to leave California in general. And so I moved. One day I went to the liquor store and I bought myself a Pretty big size uh, vodka bottle, and I already knew that my intentions were to finish that by myself in, in my basement. When I got home to my mom's house, I went straight down there, didn't even talk to anybody. I just went straight to trying to get drunk. I remember just thinking, like, as I was getting progressively more intoxicated, that all of these just really negative thoughts started pouring in and I was just like really beating myself up and drinking even more to suppress those feelings and it got to the point where I was literally attacking myself. I remember like literally smothering my face with the pillow like screaming into it like I was just freaking out. I was bawling that night for sure. I remember just needing something to make me feel better. I knew prayer was a thing and so I prayed. I asked God, like, God, meet me where I'm at. Where, where am I? Like, what do I do? What do I do going forward? I was like, God, I, I really don't know what I'm doing right now. Like, honestly, I'm just kind of taking day by day. And whatever you need me to do, God, just make it clear. Like, I just wanted clarity. And I kept asking God, to, like, show me clarity. Show me what I need to do. I wouldn't say I got a direct answer, but I definitely felt like an uplifting feeling. Like, I just felt like, okay, like, whatever's coming the next day, I'm ready. Like, God, just show me it. I woke up in the morning and my mom was like, hey, you should go to Britton Woods Bible study. I was like, you know what? I'll go. Like, I'll check it out. I'll see if it's something that, you know, is for me. I for sure was just like out of my comfort zone. I knew it was going to be awkward. I didn't know anybody there. I was the new guy. And I remember just as soon as I got in, we, we all started talking. They started sharing a little bit about who they were and where they've came from. And so I felt comfortable. I felt like I can definitely express a little bit of what happened the night before. And so I did, I opened up to them. I told them that I had struggled with alcohol addiction. I struggled with drug addiction. And I could tell they cared. I could tell they really wanted to see me do better. I could tell that they loved me for sharing it. I felt like I could be honest with these guys and vulnerable with them. And um, I remember before I left, Nick's like, hey, can I talk to you real quick. I was like, yeah, sure. And he brought up uh, the 180 program. It's a discipleship program for people that struggle with that kind of thing. And so I prayed about it and I applied online and I got in. And I mean, that journey was amazing. It was the best experience of my life for sure. For me to like go through that whole life experience and see how great you feel once you actually accept the Lord and you take him in and you let him just like run your life, basically. You want that for others. And so when I, when I got the opportunity to love kids, I was like, this is perfect. I can teach these kids the best ability that I can, what God is and what he can really accomplish. I just love it. I love that I can see these kids grow up and you know start to really adapt to this Christian lifestyle and start picking up on things. You can definitely see them as they grow up, like picking up your habits too. Like they admire me, they admire the guys and women in that ministry for love kids. My biggest thing was just wanting to give other people what God gave me and allowing God to do that through me. 
Once I finally realized like life is way better with God, you start to see yourself change, your identities in Him. Those anxieties and those stresses and all that just kind of gets lifted off because you're like, why does it all matter? I'm here for one reason and that's to glorify God and that's where my identity lies. That's who I am. I'm a, I'm a son of God.